everybody, Kurt Shaver of Vengresso here, and I wanted to put together a quick video tutorial about using video conferencing, you know, with uh, so many people really working from home now and leveraging video conferencing in order to maintain that good relationship and that good rapport on communications. I want to share with you a particular tip that I just discovered this weekend, almost um, by coincidence, uh, even though I consider myself a very experienced Zoom user. I've used it for probably three years and I have four or five meetings a day almost on it. But it wasn't until I was just playing around with it with a bunch of family members on a Sunday as we were just using it to kind of keep together as everybody's going into their social um, distancing. And uh, I noticed that my wife was uh, separate in her home office. And I know she had this beautiful green screen background. And I said to her, how do you have a green screen background image when you don't have a green screen? Because in my office, I had a green screen set up and I used it for years. She said, oh, I don't know. I just clicked this button and it popped up. And I did a little investigation. I found out, hey, you don't need to have a real green screen behind you in order to use a green screen effect on Zoom anymore. Pretty cool. So let me just kind of walk you through a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go into their virtual background. So again, why might you wanna do this? Well, if you are working from home and you're using uh, video conferencing, you might actually have an office that looks sort of like this one, right? Uh, you know, people say, hey, where's that uh, particular piece of paper? And you might have to come back here and just stack and you know, pull it up and say, oh, you know, there it is and all this throw it back in here with the other ones. So that might not necessarily be the image that you wanna communicate. And so that's why you might wanna come in and uh, pick another background, say something that just looked like a, a sort of normal office. Here's kind of a nice office overlooking the San Francisco Bay. I think this may have been Mark Benioff's office before he moved to the Salesforce Tower, I don't know. But again, this is a, a completely different look. It's all done, it's a green screen effect, but I don't have a green screen behind me. Um, if you wanted to communicate something that, you know, maybe looked a little bit more like, yes, you're working in your home office, but it's your home office in wine country, you know, you could use something like this uh, or out at the coast, whatever you want to be. We're kind of lucky at Vengresso because we have a great graphic artist that created all sorts of like these 3D backgrounds for us. So, you know, this makes it look like I'm at our Manhattan office and this is what it looks like at night. And this is what it looks like if we moved everything to Costa Rica. So uh, some different ways you can look at it. And then one of the other things that we like to do is to actually just um, use our logo. And this is really easy to make in PowerPoint, it takes five minutes. And you can then use something like this of your own logo as a background. That's kind of another way. Or sometimes we even put our customers logos in when we're having these discussions. And of course, they get a, a kick out of that. You can also, um, if you are just a nut and you just totally want to have fun, you can make one that's like, you know, a bouncy castle and uh, you can do this sort of thing. Or uh, the last one I'll mention, uh, again, Zoom can get pretty sophisticated. They can actually even put a video in the background. So you can see here, this is just one of the stock video clips that they have of the Aurora Borealis. Now, I'm not sure why you'd exactly do this for your business setting, but if you do, let me know what the reason is, uh, what the relevance is for this one. So again, that is the whole idea. Uh, just again, to show you guys what's going on, if I, if I drop out these effects, and I, I know I took my green screen down, um, again, you can kind of, kind of come in here and you can see there's my you know, regular old office. That's what it looks like right there. And again, I can just use these effects, turn them on and uh, you know, I can be in outer space if I want. So I hope that helps you as you're using video conferencing more. If you have any other questions about using video conferencing or asynchronous video messaging to break through the noise and reach your prospects or even any digital selling techniques, drop me a line. Remember, stay digital and stay healthy.